Slicing and dicing, that's what we're gonna do. Slicing and dicing with this new skill tool. So today I got a new saw right here. Now if you're somebody in the trades and you're carrying around a heavier saw and you want something a little bit lighter, I think I got the saw for you. What's up everybody? My name's Clint and welcome to the tool we're using on the channel. Now this is the all new skill four and a half inch one-handed basically compact circular saw. Today we used and abused, we sliced and diced. We put it to the test. And in today's video, I'm gonna tell you why this saw might really help you and some things you might wanna steer away from when using this saw. Basically what it's good at and what it's not so good at. So let's just get into this, shall we? So this new Skill Compact saw is super lightweight at only four pounds. Now the sawing capacity, you're looking at 45 degree, one inch, and sawing capacity at 90 degree, you're looking at one and a half inches. Now the blade is on the left hand side and as you can see in the first couple clips it absolutely does have a blade break and it does work very well. Arbor size 3 8 of an inch and you got the dust blower or extraction point up on the opposite side of the blade. Now this kit came with the saw, the blade, the attachment, the fence and it came with the 2 AH battery and the charger. I wanted to try it out on some 1 inch plywood basically and see how it does. You can see that dust extraction point works really, really well and helps keep that dust away from your face. Now the 2AH battery that it comes with, it works fine on smaller applications. I want to bump it up to a 4AH and see it again. So ripping down through the one inch board with that 2AH had a little bit of a sag, but with the 4AH in, especially the 5AH batteries and anything up, no problem at all and it cut very smooth now you can cut up to a 45 degree cut on this very easy to set that bevel you just spin that little locker nut right there and then set it to where you need it to do and let's slice and dice through this now i will tell you i got some damage on that board because i you know i like to do a little bit of that practice out in the backyard won't say what kind of practice but it was slicing and dicing down through that wood and even with the blade that came with this, that skill blade, it was real nice and smooth. So with the larger batteries, no issues at all. What about a 45 degree cut though? Microphone picking up a little bit of crackling, has some technical difficulties. Oh, do you uh, see that LED light right there? Well, that's real nice like, and it illuminates that area. Well, real nice like. Now, if I want to do a plunge cut or my depth adjustment, all that good stuff, again, I can cut up to one and a half inches at 90 degrees and one inch at 45 degrees, but look at that plunge cut. How sweet it is. There's a different angle for your viewing pleasure. And I've been switching between the 2AH battery and the 4AH battery. And again, I tried the 5AH battery. You can remove that dust port right now if you want, but yeah, listen, skills and skill saws, they are great when it comes to dust extraction. But check out that sweet, sweet slicing and dicing on that molding right here. All right, so what about two by fours? Well, I got some two by six right here and I wanted to cut down. I went to slice and dice through and see what the two AH could do. Now the two AH, it sagged the saw a little bit. So you definitely want to go with a larger battery. However, we all know that the thickness of a board is never exact. And this one here might've been a little bit thicker because it was leaving a 16th of an inch worth of wood at the end and it just wouldn't slice and dice the entire way off. Now you're looking at 6,000 RPMs on this saw right now. And the 2AH bat ray that it comes with, well, there's a special feature about that. I'll put that video at the end of this one. You can check it out and see what's so special about it. The battery life on this was actually pretty good to tell you. I was using the 2AH and I've noticed it was draining down a couple bars after I made a few cuts through the two buys and then you know a couple other cuts after that. So all in all for the 2AH, not bad. As far as it goes with the 4AH, 5AH, you can cut with this thing a lot, get multiple, multiple cuts off of it. Now the pros for this, if you're using like subflooring or cutting through subflooring, you know, or anything else like a thinner material, maybe an inch, maybe a half an inch, this thing is going to be phenomenal. As far as it goes with the two by such as the two by fours and the two by six and all that stuff. Maybe if you're getting into tight areas, maybe you're trying to cut a joist, you don't want to use a recip saw for some reason or whatever, you want to use something like this. But I really think about like floor installers, molding, all that stuff. This saw is really, really cool and I love the damn thing. Like I said though, it has its limitations and just remember that. The adjustments were all easy to make, the 45 degrees and such. 
Not really sure why it didn't cut down the whole two by six. It says that it can cut down through a two by. So maybe it was a couple pieces of the wood that I had. Maybe they swallowed a little bit. I don't freaking know. But I want to know what you think. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. I'll leave this and more information and a link in the description for you to check out. And I appreciate you stopping by. With that, we'll be back with more videos soon.